Hey everybody, uh, trying some new settings, actually going to make it, trying to make this loud enough to uh, deal with naturally without screaming. I wanted to tell you, uh, you are tuned in to the Free Matt podcast. I am the one and only Matt Free Matt. My normal partner is the one and only General Patrick Flynn. And, uh, source of irony, he is not here today. Uh, he's tending to family matters. I saw him a short time ago. He's actually doing really well, uh, focusing on health and stuff like that. But, um, oh, Lord, what else? What else? Oh, sorry. I actually did have my notes over here. Source of irony. Libertarian Roundtable Style Podcast. I didn't have an article per se today, but I did have something I wanted you guys to think about. Um, as much as growing up, I, I, I'm a big fan of the military, at least the science behind it. It's uh, I always like to look at weapons and tanks and stuff like that. I always found them fascinating. I had been to several military bases when I was actually a kid and uh, love museums and things like that. Um, I'm not, uh, I know I probably am not the greatest libertarian because I'm not exactly the biggest peacenik, but I wanted to tell you, uh, an idea. One of my ideas today was regarding the Israeli and Palestinian conflict that we see today. Um, I think they're day three or four of the peace uh a ceasefire uh a lot of uh because of our treaties and stuff we have a treaty with israel uh we sell them weapons on occasion um i i understand that that because of their lobbying efforts too let's not lie about that lobbying efforts that our, our society and a lot of us we we we'd lean heavy on uh, to supporting israel and uh, we do have some people that are uh, pro-Palestinian that want to obviously help the Palestinians. I understand a lot of well, well-meaning people do. And I, I'm trying to stay neutral here, guys. I, I naturally see things a little bit different than other people. But this is a food for thought question I wanted to have you guys engage with. I guess that would be a good term. I, I, my my English is a my English is a first language. It's not very good, but it says um, my notes. It actually said, "Why not loathe the Palestinians and Israelis both, and and, and loathe them both equally?" Um, I know I'm asking you guys to look past lobbying efforts. What our media tells us, uh, many of us. Uh, religiously uh, uh depending on on what branch of the uh christian world you might be from and i'm uh, obviously i'm not trying to exclude muslims but let's uh well most of them are not huge fans of jews just you know level with you but if you look at uh, the vast majority of christians uh they they, they at least are our common uh are, well, the rabbi, the rabbi known as uh, Jesus Christ, more or less, I said, you know, he's, um, well, he was a rabbi. He was a Jew. Yeah. Insert humor. But we tend to favor the Jews, and or some of us do. I don't, um, I guess, I guess the one thing that I was trying to, uh, trying to tell you guys to look at um why can't we loathe both of them they're both people that seem to have a propensity to fight each other they both seem to have a unnatural need to see themselves off uh one side has a functioning government in it, but largely needed help from parts of the other around the world and then uh, the one place won't uh, wants to be its own government, but 
completely fails to do the bare minimum to do so. And I, I, I'm i saying that one side could easily thrive, the other not. And I don't even want to say the names of who, who this qualifies for because I'd rather have you loathe them both. And somebody asked me, like, well, are you turning away from Israel? I'm not telling you to turn away from Israel or, or Palestine. I'm telling you to loathe both of them. I, I, I don't think it, it, it's kind of like, uh, was it not my monkey, not my circus or whatever the saying goes, not my big top, not my circus. And I, I think these people need to, they need to, to it's a 21st century. Um, I was going to say the Kaiser, uh, even though they're both relatively young propositions, or, or, you know, non-states or states or whatever you want to call them, I think they both need to grow up. And now they're not doing it. I was like, and you know what? Maybe, maybe they should. I said, maybe they should grow up. And I, I know I'm rambling here, but just food for thought. Think about this. Low, low them both. I'm not, I'm not going to declare war on either one of them. I just think you should ignore them should loathe them. I think you ought to, you ought to say, Hey, they're both a bunch of buttholes that won't feel like blowing each other up. And yeah, I happen to love, uh, Gal Gadot, by the way, she rings my bell, but I'm sorry, you know, Israel and Palestine, both. If, if you knew how much that the world is sick of hearing about your crap and that you really should get to figure out when you're going to win. Like when I said, if you're not, you know, if you're not playing a punk for somebody like Iran and on the other side, you're playing a punk for defense industries and lobbying efforts. Yeah. It's you both suck. And I'm, I'm just a guy telling you that, but anyway, uh, Hey folks, uh, Feel free to uh, like and subscribe. I know there's a uh, notifications way down there. Twitter, Parlay, even though they suck, Gab. And there's even a hate email. If you want to send some hate email, you're welcome to it. I don't seem to get a lot of it, but if you hate me that much, just send me an email and say, I, I saw your video and I hate your show. Like Bob Ross. Happy little trees. Well, please have a good uh, week ahead of you, and please take care of yourself. Thank you.